What's going on everyone, this is Dom, and behind me is my production desk setup for 2022, and I had some people ask me what I was using because they've seen it in the backgrounds of videos, etc. So I thought I'd put together a video explaining everything that's on the desk and kind of how it fits into my workflow and some of the other stuff I do in life. So I guess I should start out by talking about the specific desk that everything is on. This is the platform desk from Output, and I absolutely love it. It's not the cheapest thing in the world, mind you, and I actually have have my two Yamaha HS80 monitors sitting on top of some output monitor stands as well. Again, not the cheapest thing in the world, but definitely high quality. And I think that it's kind of the absolute best for this kind of situation that I'm personally dealing with. And real quick, I do want to tell you about this video's sponsor, One More, with their brand new Evo headphones. And they're actually currently 20% off for Prime Day right now. So be sure to check that link down below in the description if you want to save some money on some pretty awesome headphones. One More's Evo headphones have 10 millimeter drivers inside and three times the data transmission and three times the detail of music with all of that. And they also have multiple noise cancellation uh, abilities up to 42 decibels. And we have active noise cancellation, and we also do have a transparency mode so you can hear what's going on in the world around you, which is pretty helpful. With that transparency mode, there is pass-through mode, and there is voice enhancement mode, which will allow you to hear people a little bit better. And also, on top of that, they do have touch controls on the side. They're very comfortable in your ears, and honestly, I love the sound quality of these things. They're far better than my AirPods Pro. Along with that, they do have an app that you can use to customize some of the controls here, adjust the active noise cancellation modes and everything like that. So definitely be sure to check out the One More Evo Buds. Uh, they're essential as a part of my desk here. Like literally I, I have them on my desk all the time because when I'm about to leave, just grab and go, connect them to my phone, etc., and I'm out the door. And honestly, they just sound really good. And I truly do believe in One More as a company because they do what other people do that costs more money, but they make it way more affordable and add more features, if you know what I'm saying. So definitely check that link out down below in the description if you want to find out more about the One More Evo headphones and that 20% off discount I'm telling you about. So as I mentioned, I do have the Yamaha HS80 monitor speakers and I also do have the sub that pairs along with those speakers as well. And on top of that, I have my Audio-Technica M50X headphones, which I absolutely love. They are just perfect for any kind of video editing or mixing or things like that. Now next to that, I do have a direct box, which I use to plug in guitar and bass into my audio interface, which I'll touch on in a little bit here. And I also do have a pretty big power supply for a microphone called the NTK from Rode, which is a tube mic, and I absolutely love the sound of it. Now on the desk, I do have some decorations like Thanos here, given his little signature snap, but uh, I also do have some practical things as well. My Shure SM7 uh, sits on this boom microphone arm that I picked up on Amazon. Again, links for everything are down below in the description, and the Sure, microphone is what I do a lot of voiceovers with. I do record some music on it and stuff like that, which we'll get into. I'll tell you more about the ins and outs of all that stuff later on in the video. But um, I love the microphone and the boom arm is great because it allows me to extend it, reach all the way to my face and you know, just be able to talk naturally and sit in a very comfortable position. Now, as far as everything on the desk, I am running a power conditioner to run everything through that. I have this Furman power conditioner that basically cleans up the power signal, make sure there's no buzz or any noise coming through, uh, through the electrical wires and things like that. Very, very helpful, very crucial in my opinion. Now for the audio interface that I was talking about, I'm using the Universal Audio Aero interface and I freaking love this thing. Um, I actually have two of them because I have one for my MacBook and one for the iMac back here. I think that this is just an excellent audio interface. It's got pretty excellent preamps inside and it's just overall very intuitive as far as the controls go and syncing up with everything else that I do on the computer. Now, as you probably noticed, my iMac isn't in a normal configuration. I actually have it floating on the desk using a boom arm and this monitor holder is absolutely fantastic. I'm using the vase mount adapter that is made by Apple, but there are some cheaper versions available on Amazon as well. But I love this thing because it allows me to move the iMac closer to my face. It allows me to position it in different directions, etc. Whatever I need, I can move it 
wherever I want to essentially and I really do like that about this thing now on the bottom of the iMac you can see I have a little bit of IO there I actually have uh, it, it's a thing from Stateki and it just clips onto the bottom of the iMac and it gives me SD card readers and some spare USB ports which is absolutely crucial for an iMac because uh, it's everything's in the back so it's just a nuisance to get back there and plug things in so I love this little USB hub now moving to the right of the iMac I have the Elgato face cam which I I use for Zoom calls, I use for quickly recording stuff, maybe podcasts, things like that. And I also have the Elgato Key Light Mini, which is actually a pretty amazing piece of kit because not only is this a nice key light, but it is also completely rechargeable. So I can remove it from the stand and I can bring it with me somewhere in case I need a light on the go. It's very small, very compact, and even has magnets on the back so you can like stick it to something metal so you don't have to hold it or put it on a stand or anything like that. I don't know. It's just a pretty great thing to have a Around. Now with the music production aspect of things, I've been doing that for a long time. Many of you might not even know that I started this channel rooted in music production tutorials. That's where the whole Mac mixing name came from. That's why it's my Twitter handle and my Instagram handle and things like that because I was doing mixing on a Mac. I'm a mix engineer. That's what I've done for a long, long time. And um, I'm actually using the Avid S1 here as my controller for Pro Tools, which allows me to basically mix things with more of a tactile feeling. I don't have to to use uh, any faders on a screen. I, I don't like that. I like to listen to things and be able to actually hear what I'm doing with my fingers. It, it's just, it's a different kind of experience than just using a keyboard and a mouse in my opinion. And if you wanna check out anything that I have done, I will be sure to link uh, SoundCloud down below for you in case you want to go ahead and listen to any of the music that I have been making recently or stuff that I've done in the past, things like that. Now beneath the main desktop, there is actually a little slide out keyboard tray which I have my Native Instruments Complete 49 keyboard MIDI controller, and then I also have a Korg pad controller, which I absolutely love this thing. It's old, it's obsolete, some stuff isn't even compatible with it anymore, but to be honest, it is one of the greatest little pad controller, uh, MIDI controllers that I actually have ever used, and I love the heck out of this thing. And another thing that I didn't point out earlier because it ties into the whole music production thing is if I'm working on something and I wanna just hear it out of a basic, like, mono speaker, I have my HomePod Mini up here on the desk, which I can easily just airplay to and be able to listen to something either from the computer or from my iPhone, and that's just very helpful. And the final thing that I didn't actually mention here is the keyboard and mouse setup that I'm using. I'm actually using the default iMac Pro keyboard and trackpad, but I do have the Logitech G703 gaming mouse, which I just really like. I've had it for a long time. It's a wireless mouse, it's rechargeable, and it works great with Mac, and I don't know. I just, there's something about it that's just comfortable for me. I'm used to it. So I have um, the mouse in my right hand, the trackpad in my left hand, the keyboard in the middle, just kind of a good way to navigate the entire space of what I'm doing for either audio or video editing stuff. But that about wraps it up for my 2022 production desk setup. And if you want to learn more about anything that I've mentioned in this video, I'll be sure to link everything down in the description. Or if you have any specific questions, definitely drop them in the comments section below. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out that SoundCloud link if you want to hear anything that I've been working on lately. I really do appreciate all the support, everybody, though. Uh, and check out one more. Great headphones, and they're on sale right now, so that's even better. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Appreciate the support. It means the world to me. I really, really do. And uh, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Once again, this is Dom, and I will catch you in the next video.